Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I hope everybody is well. Um, happy day. It's nice and bright here today. Whatever day that you're able to tune into this video, thank you so much for watching. I'm just here to talk. I got some things on my mind. I pray that you be encouraged. Um, I pray that you stick around until the end. I know I need a new phone. It's cracked right up there, so it's giving me a little blur. But I don't think that that should be a reason for me to not still be obedient. Um, if I got something on my mind or in my heart, sometimes I get to second guessing myself because maybe my equipment is not um, crisp or like, like my phone is not brand new but still you can still hear my voice and you know those of us who know we know that god can use anybody um to speak into your life or to be an encouragement to you so um, i encourage you as i encourage myself to continue to be the light don't let certain situations or adversities um stop you from being obedient and doing what god calls you to do whether it be lifting somebody else up or giving a phone call to someone who wasn't so nice to you before or whatever that might be so with that um, today's encouragement is coming from the fact that me myself i'm gonna speak about me over the last um three to five years i have been in a predicament where i go above and beyond for people you know not only my kids and my husband you know because that's what we're supposed to do as a wife but for others as well others who don't necessarily fall into that bracket of your immediate family but you still want to be humble and you want to be a wholesome person and you want to be helpful right <clears throat> so when that comes and you do everything that you can do but you still get disrespected or you still get made fun of, or you still get talked about behind your back and this and that, what do you do? Do you say, oh, nope, it's not worth it. I'm never helping them again. Or it's not worth it. I'm never gonna call and try to talk to them again. I quit. No, that's not what you do. <laughs> you know, that's the first instinct. And I have to admit, I've done that until I knew. Now that I know, I know better that you got to show up even harder. You got to kill them with kindness because there's a reason that you're attached to this person. There's a reason why you continuously feel like you need to talk to them or pour into their lives, even though it seems like everything you say goes in one ear and out the other. There is a reason. And I just want you to be reminded that some of us, are placed in other people's lives in order to plant a seed. Some of us are placed in other people's lives in order to water a seed, right? But God is always the one who's going to bring the increase. So while I might be, so while I might be very excited to share with my friend or family member the goodness of Christ and I'm so excited to share my testimony so that maybe they can be encouraged and come to Christ themselves all I can do is do that all I can do is be obedient and speak what's on my mind or what God has given me but God is going to ultimately bring it to their mind or their forefront or you know make it important for them to draw closer to him not me not me being um <clears throat> not me being some type of pressure you know because that is pressure when you're like trying to push the word of god down someone's throat that is pressure but you're not coming off as pressure you're just trying to get them to get out of that you know that bad feeling that they're in or that that ugly funk that they're in right not knowing that the more that we talk 
the more that we push could be pushing them away from Christ. So you can only do so much. And then once you've done that, just back up, back up. And then what do you do? Also, you pray, you pray like crazy for God to bring that person closer to him in only his time and only his way. Because that's just like, let's just say you at work. Um, I'm going to use Walmart. I worked at Walmart for a long time. If I'm at work at Walmart and somebody comes up to me and says, where do I find a vacuum cleaner back vacuums or uh, vacuum cleaner belts? I'm going to say, come on over. I'm going to show you where it's at. Come this way. Well, let's just say I get them there and I'm like, here are the vacuum cleaner belts. You know, have a good day. They're going to look at me and say, no, don't leave me. I don't know which belt to get. Well, I don't know what vacuum you have. So I can't really help you specifically find the exact one that you want. Even if I did know what vacuum you have, I don't really know if this belt is going to work for your vacuum. Get where I'm going? I can only lead you to where you need to be, but it's up to you to do the research. It's up to you to dig in. It's up to you to call out to Christ. And the same thing for the next person. A lot of us don't know that, I'm speaking for myself, don't know that, you know, you trying to help could be doing too much. For instance, I had someone tell me, I don't need you preaching to me. Preaching? I'm not a preacher. Why would I be preaching to you? I'm just telling you what I'm reading in the word of God. I'm telling you what God is showing me. I'm telling you what I've been through. But I was wrong. Because what I go through and what I see is not what they're going to go through or what they see. So I have to trust God. I got to bring it back around. I got to pray to God for them, you know, on their behalf. You know, the term is pray for others more than you pray for yourself. Because you just hope and pray that somebody out there is praying for you like you're praying for them. God wants us to be helpers in one another, yes. But we got to know when to uh, dust our hands off and keep it moving. Move on to the next person. Move on to our children, especially. My daughter, honestly, has been battling with something for the last three or four months. And it's something that just came out of the blue. I don't know why she's battling with this, but she's really battling. And I feel like at least once or twice a week, she's having a breakdown about it. And when she breaks down, I break down. What do we do? Together, we go to Christ. We go to the foot of the Lord and we pray. We give it all to him because although I'm her mother and I'm an encourager or whatever you want to call me, um, I'm just another woman of Christ trying to do the right thing, trying to get it right. So then that's what I'm going to pour out to my daughter. I'm going to show her that you're not going to be perfect, that you have to keep trying in Christ because Christ loves us and he's going to keep taking us back. So although she's going through something, we don't even really know what she's going through. There is an attack of the enemy. Everybody's so quick to say the devil did it. Oh no, here comes the devil. Oh, he's going to take my joy. He's going to take my money. Oh no, the devil's trying to take my job. Mm -mm. It's not always the devil. There is definitely an evil spirit that is competing with those of us who love God or who are trying to um, be on the right path of the Lord. But everything is not the enemy. What is the enemy is those negative thoughts in your mind, those depressive thoughts, those thoughts of, oh, I'll never be able to pick up where I left off, or I'll never be able to do that, or I'm not good enough. That's the enemy. He's all up in our mind, and he's really, really destroying our kids. So while we want to um, encourage someone else and show love to someone else as far as Christ let us do so for our children more so now than ever. I pray that this is an encouragement for you. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. i got to go get my baby. But I will see you soon. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.